Hi, I'm Purdue Police Chief John Cox. On campus, safety is an important issue. So, we wanted to create a series of short videos. To keep it light, we asked Purdue Pete to help out. The results? Very watchable safety clips. The goal is to help you keep safe. Purdue Pete says be smart like a Boilermaker and watch this safety video. Today's topic, pedestrian safety. Hey, Purdue Pete, there's lots of traffic out right now, but it's all right, they'll stop for us because we're special. Of course I'll be there. I'm wearing my pink dress. What are you gonna wear? Hi, Pete. I sure do love texting while crossing the street. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna be there at nine. Whoa, Pete, I'm trying to text and cross the street here. Hey, Pete! See these funny lines in the street? I'd rather be hit mid-block so I could land square in the middle of these lines. Score! Watch Purdue Pete spring into action as he invites a fifth grade student to demonstrate pedestrian safety. Look both ways for cars, trucks, and buses. Obey signs and signals. Use crosswalks. Avoid mid-block crossings. Don't be distracted by iPods and cell phones. It's so simple. Purdue Pete doesn't want any student getting hit by a vehicle. I want to live! To report an accident, call 911. Remember, always be like Purdue Pete. Practice safety. Join us as we learn more about safety in a video featuring Purdue Pete. Today's topic, property security. Dude! My laptop's been stolen. Oh, hi Purdue Pete. It's not shaping up to be a very good day, I'm afraid. Dude! Oh, fiddlesticks. My bike's been stolen too. Really? My cell phone is gone? My cell phone is gone. It was just on the table and I just... <sighs> My mother is going to kill me. Purdue Pete springs into action. Securing and registering your personal property is the answer. My briefs are gone too. Lock your doors always. And tailgating? Don't even think about it. Secure your bike every time through the wheels and frame and never leave valuables unattended at the library, coffee shop, or in your car. It's easy to register your laptop and bike online. Find the form at purdue.edu slash police. Purdue Pete says hammer down on campus crime. Hammer down. Oh, I get it. That's quite humorous. For non-emergencies, call the Purdue Police for assistance at 494-8221. Remember, always be like Purdue Pete. Practice safety. Now for another amazing safety video featuring Purdue Pete. Today's topic, fire alarm evacuation procedures. Look, Purdue Pete. There's a fire in the kitchenette. I wonder what the official Purdue University fire alarm evacuation procedures are. Hmm. Watch as Purdue Pete springs into action, activating the convenient fire alarm pull station. Check. Good job, Pete. Purdue Pete says everyone should immediately evacuate the building. Check. Good job, Pete. Notifying occupants as you go. Never use elevators during a fire alarm evacuation. Help people who might need additional assistance. Check. Good job, Pete. Purdue Pete says once your safety is not in jeopardy, call 911 to report the location of the fire. If you are caught in smoke, drop to your knees and crawl to the nearest exit. Get low and go. Use fabric to cover your nose and mouth to filter the air. If you are unable to evacuate the building, shelter in place. If possible, move to a room with an outside window. Close all doors and windows. Stuff clothing around the door and cracks to block smoke. Call 911. Signal people outside the window by staying visible. 
waving a light-colored item to attract attention. And Purdue Pete says, be patient. Hello, I got me a special hat. For fire emergencies and all other campus emergencies, always call 911. Remember, always be like Purdue Pete. Practice safety. Listen and learn about campus safety with Purdue Pete. Today's topic, shelter in place. Whoa, it's gotten really crazy out here. Come on, we need to go. Watch Purdue Pete spring into action as storms approach. This is a great song. Purdue Pete, I just got a text. <laughs> from the Purdue Police Department. Purdue Pete says never ignore sirens. Hey, I'm jamming here. Or text warnings to seek shelter. Shelter in place immediately if you hear outdoor all hazards emergency warning sirens. Or receive a Purdue emergency text alert. Or are directed by police or fire department personnel. Shelter in place means head for a designated area of safety. For tornado warnings, it's normally a basement away from windows or doors. Facing a wall, kneel and cover your head. For an accidental hazardous materials release warning, shelter in place means stay inside, above ground in a room with the fewest windows or vents. Do not go outside unless instructed to evacuate. Do not use elevators. For an active shooter warning, head for a secure location, preferably a lockable room. For more information, watch the video on the Purdue Police website, Shots Fired on Campus When Lightning Strikes. And stay aware, report suspicious activity. For all event emergencies, do keep your cell phone with you and share text notifications. Why am I in the basement? Remember, always be like Purdue Pete. Practice safety. Enjoy your home at Purdue and play it safe like Purdue Pete. Today's topic, safe walk. Hey, Purdue Pete. Boy, am I glad to see you. It was getting dark from my walk back from class. I was getting a little scared. Cool. Lions, tigers. And bears, oh, oh my. my. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Lions and Purdue tigers. Pete always springs into action when he spots someone walking alone at night. Always walk on lighted pathways. Walk in pairs or groups. Purdue Pete says use the emergency telephone system located throughout campus. Watch Purdue Pete demonstrate. He looks for a blue light, opens the door, and pushes the button. The Purdue Dispatch Center will answer and send help. Police department. Wherever you roam, use a buddy to get home unless you happen to carry a really large hammer. Remember, keep your cell phone handy in case you feel your personal safety is in jeopardy. Always be like Purdue Pete. Practice safety. Now for another amazing safety video featuring Purdue Pete. Today's topic, emergency notification procedures. What's that Purdue Pete? What's that smell? Is the residence hall on fire? Look! See Purdue Pete spring into action. Watch Purdue Pete call 911 from a surprisingly convenient phone. 911, where is your emergency? Purdue Pete says use any phone, your cell phone, or the blue light ETS boxes located throughout campus. Purdue Pete says provide a thorough description of the incident to ensure that proper resources are dispatched. Provide the address of the building involved and your exact location. Do not hang up until the dispatcher tells you to do so. Wow, that was fast. For non-emergencies, call Purdue Police at 494-8221. Remember, always be like Purdue Pete. Practice safety. Purdue Pete is concerned about your safety. Pay attention to this video. Today's topic, the emergency warning notification system. Can you tell us, how do they intend to notify the student body of impending dangerous situations? 
Oh, the all hazard warning sirens. Oh. oh. Purdue Pete, how else can we find out about emergency situations? Oh, Purdue email. Or the Purdue notification page on Facebook. Or the Purdue homepage. Ah. Ah. What else, Pete? What if we're in danger? Purdue Pete says other methods include Boiler TV's emergency alert system, local TV stations, local radio, and remember you have to opt in for Facebook and text notifications. Purdue Pete, can the emergency notification system warn us if there's a pop quiz? Purdue Pete says keep your ears open for emergency warning notifications. Remember, always be like Purdue Pete. Practice safety. Purdue Pete says safety is number one. Watch this video and learn. Today's topic, alcohol awareness. Purdue Pete, it makes me sad. My friends, they spend their weekends drinking. They could be hurt or even Worse. Purdue Pete listens and offers some advice. Watch for any of these danger signs. Individuals, semi-conscious or unconscious, cannot be awakened with cold, moist, or bluish skin, with slow, shallow, or irregular breathing, one who vomits while sleeping. Purdue Pete says, here's what you should do. Call 911 and get help. If in a residence hall, contact the RA. Do not leave the person alone. Turn the person on their side to prevent choking. Additional signs, an individual may need medical evaluation, vomiting after drinking, confusion, slurring words, unable to make eye contact, difficulty walking, or incoherent behavior. Remember to party safely, never drink and drive. Purdue Pete never ditches friends in need. Be like Purdue Pete. Practice safety. Suicide prevention. Police Chief John Cox asks you to be aware of the warning signs of suicide. We look at suicide awareness in two levels. The first level of warning signs means you should take action, notifying authorities immediately. Overexpressions of suicidal thinking or intentions, such as comments like, nobody cares about me, direct or indirect threats against themselves or others, acquisitions of drugs, weapons, or materials intended to be used for the purpose of killing oneself or to harm others. Whatever you do, don't leave a suicidal person alone. Call 911. Level two awareness means you have noticed subtle warning signs, which require attention but are not necessarily an immediate emergency. Displays of hopelessness, uncharacteristic anger or rage, increased drug or alcohol use, withdrawal from friends and family, dramatic changes in mood, engagement in risky activities. So what should you do? Try starting a conversation with the person about their feelings or thoughts, or see if they would be willing to set up a counseling appointment offer to help them set up the appointment or make sure that it happens. Go with them in support. If there's immediate danger, call 911. The Purdue police will get help on the way. If the signs are more subtle, you can contact CAPS, our counseling and psychological services here on campus or the crisis center. I'm police chief John Cox. I'm asking you to be aware of the warning signs of suicide.